We are looking at bingo today. Let me just remind you of how normal bingo works, right? Normal bingo, actually, can anyone explain to me how does normal bingo work? Yeah, Tom. You have like a set of numbers in front of you. Yep. Some other five drawing random numbers out. Fantastic. You get like four in a row or something. Yeah, very good. So that's 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 perfect. So if I guess gave you a simple example, okay? Um, I'll just do three because it'll be quicker. You have like a bingo card, okay, um, which retirees around the world are just sort of sitting there and, you know, uh, they've got their card in front of them. Everyone's got a different set of numbers on their card. And then the announcer at the front will call, you know, will have, for example, will have dice or some other like drawing it out of a hat and will roll it and say, it's a, it's a four. And then if you're like, oh, oh, I've got a four, you know, and you get excited, you cross it out, okay. And we keep playing and then as Tom said, Usually it's like, can you get three in a row or three in a column or a diagonal or whatever? And then you call out, bingo. bingo, hooray, and then you've won, right? Now, we're gonna play bingo, but we're gonna play it a little bit different because this is, um, this is boring bingo. There's no, there's no, um, nothing interesting to it. And you have no control, it's completely random. So it's, <laughs> you, I'm not gonna make any, um, it's not sexist, I guess it'd be ageist. Ageist yeah. statements about, anyway. I, who knows, when I'm a retiree, I might play bingo too. <laughs> We're going to play Subtracto Bingo, alright? Now, I'm going to show you how it works, and you might notice your cards, you've got a few of them, they're blank. Unlike normal bingo, where you just get handed a card and like, luck of the draw, literally, okay? Here, you actually get some power here, so let me explain the way it works. Um, Subtracto Bingo, I'm going to have two dice, okay? And um, I'm going to roll them, okay? There's a blue and a green. And I'm going to read out a number, or well, you guys can actually tell me the number yourselves, right? Which is, I'm going to take one away from the other, okay? I will take the smaller one away from the bigger one. So maybe this is a bad example, let's just do it again. Okay, so three and one. So I'm going to subtract them, one from three, which leaves me with two. two. So if I had two on my card, I'd cross out two, okay? Now, you can probably work out pretty quickly, it's a six and a four, so then again, it'd be a two. Um, whoop, sorry. Do one more as an example. There you go. Six out of two, so it's going to be four. Okay. So you can see here that the smallest number that's possible is if I had two of the same there. When I subtract them, I'm going to get zero. zero. Very good. Okay. The biggest possible number, I won't be able to go up to nine, will I? How far can I go? Five. Five. Very good. Okay. You can actually see it. I put it on the, your sheet there just in case you missed that. Five is the highest because I need a six and a one. There you go, or vice versa, I suppose. Uh, one and a six, still gonna subtract it, yeah? Okay, so here's where the catch comes in. You get to design, craft your own card. Now you have a look, if you count, you'll see along the top here, and we'll do a few rounds, that's why there's so many rows. There are 12 numbers that I want you to choose. I want you to choose 12 numbers. Now, you only have five to choose from, so some of them are going to be repeated. Perhaps you are going to write down, I'll just give you an example, okay? You might say, I like the number three, so I'm going to have four threes, okay? Uh, maybe a, a one, a two, five for good measure, chuck in a couple of zeros. You can put them in any order you like. Maybe you're like, oh, no, I'm just going to have another three, just because I want to, okay? So obviously you're going to have some repeats if you're going to have all 12 numbers. Now, unlike me, it'll probably be easier for you to tick off your card and, and win faster if maybe you put it in like some kind of order, ascending order, descending order, doesn't matter really. So what I'm gonna get you to do now, I'll give you a couple minutes to think about it and then to write down your set of, your first set of 12 numbers. Don't write down several rounds. After your first round, I'll let you have a think about how you went and how you might adjust the card you designed. So I'll give you a couple minutes to think about that. <laughs> 